Chief Meteorologist Tom Coombs here, and I want to talk about Mirage. I thought it wasn't that big of a deal when uh, I shared this picture about a year ago from Joshua Newicki. You could see the entire Chicago skyline all the way down to almost the shore of Chicago from the shores of Lake Michigan. Something I said was impossible, at least under normal conditions. This had to be a mirage or some sort of focusing by the atmosphere because there was a big inversion that night. I thought it was pretty straightforward. Did a quick 30 second explainer on air and moved on with my weather cast. Well, email after email later. This is just a few of those emails, Facebook posts, comments. I was shocked to find out that there are a number of people that believe the earth is still flat and that to them, this is actually proof that the earth is flat. One person just questioned me and asking me for a retraction of the articles and lies. Uh, a lot of people try and kind of be nice about it. Well, well, are you sure you did it right? And then they send me links that the earth is flat. Uh, and some are just pretty straightforward about it. And they title replies calling me a deceiver and that uh, I should check my degree or quit telling lies on television. It, it got me questioning a lot of things. Was or were my cal calculations right? I looked into it. I did research and I thought... I've got to see this for myself. And so we climbed the dunes, and I'm really excited about our story that we're going to be doing coming up Thursday at 11, Skyline Skepticism, where we tell you, is this the mirage? Is it something else? What is the science behind this? And I also want to go over the science of why you can't see past the horizon or how far you can see. Pretend that we're on the earth here. Here's the circle. This is basic, basic mathematics that was proven hundreds of even thousands of years ago, where you're the observer here. Of course, we have the radius here, your radius here, you make a triangle. That's how far you can see. If you're on, just on the, the sea level or right near the surface, you can see about three miles. Uh, but you change your height or the height of the object, and you can see much further. Think about if you're standing on top of the dunes or you're on top of the Sears Tower, you can see much, much farther. The math behind this, you may remember this, the Pythagorean theorem, you may be groaning from middle school math class, but uh, you kind of move around the terms, it comes out to you can actually figure things out. We're going to talk more about that on our website, abc57.com, an article. I've got a nice little calculator where you can figure out the height of objects and how far you can see to where you go out to Lake Michigan. You can figure out how far you're actually sitting. Exciting story. Excited to tell you about it on ABC 57 News, Thursday night at 11, Skyline Skepticism.